Hello everyone, we are taking you on an exclusive behind the scenes tour of the Lipa Excavator factory in beautiful France. From initial assembly to final quality checks, you'll see the entire production process up close. This fundamental raw material is upgraded to a cutting edge excavator. It all begins with this basic steel plating a well-oiled manufacturing chain then moves on to cleaning, cutting to length, forming, welding, coating, as well as assembly. To accomplish this degree of precision, the steel plating arm is plated with an exceptional level of accuracy, down to the micrometer. Just 15 seconds after the rust is eliminated, everything is smooth and processing can actually begin. Precision plasma cutting machine receives the steel plating. Almost a hundred distinct parts are created from a single plate in a single procedure. Using electrically conductive gas, AR slices through a steel plate that is 80 millimeters thick. At the cutting site, the temperature reached 30,000 degrees Celsius. The plasma method's main benefit four times as much cutting speed as the traditional cutting torch results in higher overall productivity and precision. 180 separate pieces for the excavator are made from 20 square meters of raw steel. The procedure just takes a few minutes. In a single shift, the cutting machine can cut over 7,000 different parts. When the time comes, they will be gathered for additional processing. 5,000 tons of steel and stainless steel are converted annually by the Department of Bending and Stamping. These many procedures would vary in thickness from one to 20 millimeters are complementary to one another. An object with a punch and a matrix can be created by bending. The stamping process creates the part by forcefully hitting a metal sheet with a die, shaping it into the desired form. The rolling process allows the creation of rounded parts or mechanical components by passing the metal through rollers that bend and shape it. The pieces that have been chopped and bent continue to make their way to the welding shop. People start clamping the different cut areas of the undercarriage and fasteners. This is only the beginning of the work. The robots do the actual welding task. Here, human precision is of the utmost significance. Even though the welding line's equipment is precise and quick, they are powerless to fix misaligned pieces. The slough ring is initially installed on the center area of the undercarriage. Beneath the flame at 700 degrees Celsius, the welding point one, in this stage of the manufacturing, 24 human workers have been replaced by 32 robots. All three undercarriage components are joined. An excavator boom and arm are manually welded at the station by an individual. The excavator carriage welding is complete. After that, the excavator undercarriage is eventually delivered at the paint shop. First, the surfaces are thoroughly cleaned. Then, the workers mask off the areas that must not be painted. Next, after that, comes the most challenging part, precision work under extreme conditions, including 40 degree heat while wearing respiratory equipment. The key is to keep the spraying nozzle perpendicular to the surface and at a distance of 20 to 30 centimeters. If the nozzle is too close, the paint layer will be th too thick. It's too far. The coat will be too thin. Painters must work very accurately to ensure the correct coat thickness. A coat that's too thin will reveal the primer with the slightest scratch, while a coat that's too thick increases material costs and reduces the crucial margin. Finally, the parts are painted. It is necessary to roll over the four ton undercarriage before proceeding with the final assembly line. In under 50 seconds, a robot completes this work. The track system idlers may now be installed by the workers. It's finally time to mount the tracks. Nine little track rollers and two huge idlers are encircled. 
Later, the 30-ton excavator will remain attached to 49 interlocking track connections on each side. Every 10 minutes, laborers install crucial parts in the superstructure. The 300 bar oil pressure provided by the hydraulic pump powers the shovel and arms. As a result, the excavator can lift 1.5 tons of weight. The air conditioning system in the cab is completely soundproof. Leaper prioritizes operator safety when serving its clients. 5 liter diesel engine produced in Baal, Switzerland by Leaper. This is how a Leaper engine is mounted on the superstructure of an excavator. The cab's interior fixtures were initially fitted by the crew. One hour of labor intensive physical labor for the electronic seat control system. The employees installed installing the many dozen black and white cab housing for Siege is still pending. This is the installation and setup procedure for the very intelligent black box. The crucial operator interface is located by the behind driver's seats. The sophisticated apparatus captures all critical performance information from the superstructure while the engine is operating. There are only a few tasks left to do before oil and fuel are injected to the tank in the test zone. Here, the engine is started for the first time. The hydraulic system and electronics are tested for functionality and functioning. Before the final assembly, two manufacturing lines are combined under carriages and superstructures. As final preparations are made, workers on the production line pack oil into the slew rink. This is where the wheels and engine in the camp meet the undercarriage and superstructure. Soon, the enormous superstructure will be installed on the rate. The first hold is provided by unique adhesive that was applied just after the two parts were made contact. Nevertheless, if the worker applies a dot once per second and is exposed to the air for a short period of time, it counts. Now is the right moment for the alleged marriage to start. The rotating superstructure, which currently weighs 12 tons, is carried by a crane mechanism 20 meters into the air. Workers use bolts to firmly fasten the connection that was previously maintained by glue. However, the entire front portion remains missing. Massive arms, adaptable hydraulic systems, and an excessive bucket comprise a hoisting system. Here, so the crucial part of installing the excavator arm starts. At this point, the workers begin building the intricate articulated arm, particularly significant since hydraulic oil will eventually pass through th these slender two centimeter diameter pipes under intense pressure. The hoses ought to be resilient to it without losing their elasticity or flexibility. The employee makes sure they're installed correctly. The bucket needs to be attached to the excavator to complete the final touches. The next step is quality control. During this phase, the newly assembled excavators must undergo rigorous testing to demonstrate their capabilities and ensure they meet all performance standards. Each machine is put through a series of tests to evaluate its functionality, durability, and efficiency under various conditions. Once the quality control process is completed and the excavators have passed all tests, the new Liebherr or Series Electronic is ready for deployment. These advanced machines are then prepared for shipment and put into service, ready to tackle demanding tasks in the field. The meticulous quality control ensures that each excavator performs reliably and efficiently, meaning that high standards are expected of Lieber products. That brings us to the end of our fascinating tour of Lieber Excavator Factor here in France. We hope you enjoyed the exclusive behind the scenes look at the meticulous craftsmanship and advanced technology that goes into every excavator. 
don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos.